Cleveland City Council now has a plan to respond to the community about a Confederate soldier statue near Lee University. And this comes after weeks of protests to have the statue removed. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rose. Stephanie LaChance joins us now live to explain that temporary solution that the council came up with this evening. Stephanie. That's right, Josh, Kim. Today, Cleveland City Council voted four to three to create a task force to discuss what happens next to this Confederate statue. Now, not everyone in Cleveland was telling me that they agree that this monument should even be relocated. We are in a divide in our city, a city that we knew had racial tension that was sort of lying dormant. Kesman Pugh is a member of Emancipate Cleveland, and he's been asking Cleveland City Council to consider relocating the Confederate statue located near downtown. Uh, the stress comes in when you don't feel like your voice is being heard on a city level. He says Cleveland has a lot of work to do when it comes to fighting injustice and racism in their community. Today, City Council member Bill Estes suggested adding a union statue to go right next to the Confederate one. I think it'd be educational. I think it would buffer and, and provide context to a, a very difficult issue. But Kesman says this is not what the black community wants. It is his plan. Every uh, black organization that in the city, we have let Bill know we are totally against his plan. Vice Mayor Avery Johnson suggested a task force to be created in September with council members and people in the community from organizations like NAACP and a emancipate Cleveland. Some members of the community don't want any compromise and say this is a reminder of history. It's like, do you want your house, you know, does, can someone walk up your house and say, I'm going to tear down your house, want your house gone? The statue is owned by Daughters of Confederacy, and some people say it shouldn't be removed since it's on private property. But today, Kesman said they are finally taking a step toward progress. I, I can't thank God enough. I, I can't. I, I, I swear, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, really, I am. And that finally, his voice is being heard. Thank God, and I I look forward to coming up with a resolution. Emancipate Cleveland has been out here protesting for the past 10 weeks outside of this monument. Now they say because their voice is finally being heard, they're going to take a break and they're looking forward to finding a resolution. Reporting live in Cleveland, I'm Stephanie Lachance, News Channel 9. Well, Stephanie, thank you. A petition in support of relocation of the statue has more than 11,000 signatures. One against relocation has close to 9,000 signatures.